everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna get a little bit creative, but not too creative because I literally stole this idea from one of my friends. With permission, of course, here are the receipts if you don't believe me. And we're gonna be talking about title tracks that I think would fit different K-pop groups more. Because don't you guys ever have that moment where you're listening to a K-pop song and you're like, I think this different group would really be able to pull this song off. Or maybe other times you're like, this is a good song, but I'm not sure if it really fits this group. I know we've all had that thought at least one time before, and today I'm here to reassign title tracks to the group that they should have gone to originally. I'm gonna go over each song and talk about why I don't really think it fit the original artist, and give some commentary as to why I think it would fit the one that I chose a little bit better. Make sure to follow along in the comment section below and let me know what you thought of my choices, and if you want, also let me know some of your own ideas as to what title tracks you think would fit other groups as well. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe, and without further ado, let's get right into the first song. <laughs> So Treasure and Gravity are definitely two of the groups that people kind of tend to bandwagon on as just quote unquote noisy fourth gen boy groups, and I definitely predict a lot of people in my comment section being like, of course the Treasure song is going to fit Gravity, they're both just noise groups. And if you're one of those people, I just want you to sit down and listen to what I have to say for a second. So in 2021, Gravity's two comebacks were My Turn and Gas Pedal, which were both sports slash car themed. And as most of us do know, Jikjin was basically race car themed, so I think we can put two and two together. Like yes, Gravity 2021 releases weren't the most well received domestically or internationally. But the thing is, they released Adrenaline, which was a hit to me, and still nobody really cared, so I say just continue with what they were doing in the first place. Jikjin would have been a perfect follow up to Gravity's 2021 releases because they were all very divisive in terms of like what people thought about them, and when there are so many vocal opinions about people who don't like these songs, the fandom and the group of people that do almost like get stronger, and the support that Gravity's fans gave them literally like increased tenfold because of the amount of people that didn't like it. It's this sort of like phenomenon of people trying to defend their music taste, which causes them to stream and vote just even that more intensely for the group, but that's like literally a whole nother video topic that I can make another time, I'm not sure why I'm going so deep into this. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, Jikjin would have fit the race car theme that Gravity had going for them in 2021. I personally really love the visual aesthetics of that sort of theme, and while I'm not a fan of my turn, at all, I do think it makes for some really good music from time to time. And if Gravity sticks to the car racer theme, we can only expect more pops to come out. Like Jikjin. Maybe. I'm not sure if I like the song or not. So next up we have Scientist by Twice becoming Scientist by Stacy, and I think I'm pretty genius for this one. I think Scientist was considerably more laid back than most of Twice's title tracks. I don't have a problem with them doing a more mature and grown up concept, which is what Scientist was, but I think songs like Fancy, I Can't Stop Me, and honestly even Alcohol Free have a sense of energy that Scientist was sort of missing. And while I do love this song, it's probably in my upper half of Twice title tracks if I had to rank them, I do think it would fit Stacy a lot more. This is something that just popped into my mind, but I feel like Scientist and Run To You are pretty similar if you think about it. They both have those instrumental dance break section. <laughs> So if you've been paying attention to the video so far, you might be thinking something along the lines of, what musical identity does Kepler have to warrant giving them a song from a different group? And to that I have to say, Girlfront by Luna Adai Circle wouldn't be a good follow-up to Wadada, it would be a good replacement for Wadada. I'm not the biggest Wadada hater in the world, but I definitely don't think it compares to other survival show group debuts such as Energetic by Wada One or Lavi and Rose by Eyes One. And I think a big reason that this is the case is that Wadada didn't really cater to the strengths of the members. Every single member of Kepler with no exceptions, has a very youthful energy to them. Whether that's just because they are really young, such as Hikaru, or just because they have a very cuter image, such as Yujin, the members of Kepler have a brighter energy to them, and they should have debuted with a brighter track instead of the noise that is Wadada. Because their name is Kepler, you can assume that they wanted to debut with a song that is somewhat cosmic, similar to WJSN, and I think Girlfront is the perfect middle point between cosmic and youthful. If Kepler debuted with Girlfront, not only would they have debuted with, you know, a good song, they also would have debuted with something that fits the image that they were going for, while at the same time allowing the members to truly show off their biggest strengths. That's another problem that I have with Wadada is that it didn't really let the members show the talent that they had, versus other Mnet survival show debut songs such as La Vie and Rose with the pre-chorus or Energetic with the chorus. I think that, combined with a lot of other factors, has caused a lot of people to not really take Kepler seriously as a group. Even looking at them right now in Queendom, it seems like most of the people who are supporting the group are the people who were standing them before the show started, and 
And maybe I'm exaggerating, but it seems to me like Kepler has gained the least amount of new fans over the course of the show. I don't necessarily agree with this, but they've been sort of branded as one of the new 4th gen girl groups that has comparably less talent than the others within the industry, and people have latched onto this fact because they haven't been given a song that has been able to prove them wrong yet. Girlfront is much more vocally challenging than Wadada could ever be, and though some of you are probably skeptical of the members' ability to pull this song off, I think members like Chaehyun, Youngin, and Yujin are more than capable enough. Now for those of you who are familiar with the members of MCND, let me just put this thought into your head. Win singing Felix's part during the chorus. No, because am I not like the smartest person that has ever existed in the world for that take? I just think it would be very good to me if MCND were given Maniac. The song is very rap based, doesn't have the most intense vocals in the world, and features a deep voice in the chorus. And does that not perfectly encapsulate everything that MCND is? This is gonna be another case of people being like, of course they're gonna fit each other's songs, they're both noisy fourth gen boy groups. But besides Stray Kids, I don't think anybody would be able to pull off Maniac as well as MCND could. The members honestly have pretty similar vocal tones, and I can literally just imagine Minji taking on Bing Chen and Jongin's vocal lines right now. I'm like, oh my god, my mind. I think my favorite thing about MCND and Stray Kids are their abilities to bring energy to the stage, and at least to me, those two are pretty much unmatched in 4th gen when it comes to stage presence. So if anybody's gonna be doing justice to a Stray Kids song, it's gonna be them. And also, I'm just kind of dying for an MCND comeback at this point. It's been what, like, eight months, I need one right now. So finally for this video, and you might not understand what I'm trying to do here at first, I'm giving Picky Picky by Wikimiki to 17. Not everybody's gonna understand, but I think that this would have been the perfect follow-up to Ajin Nice. Think about it, both songs are extremely annoying, both songs are extremely repetitive, and both songs are so good. I honestly kind of view Wikimiki as sort of the girl group version of Seventeen. Both of them are pretty well known for their fresher concepts, but they can also do a dark one from time to time. And both of them, at least in their earlier years, had a really irresistible sense of goofiness to them, if that makes sense. Picky Picky reminds me so much of Seventeen's earlier schoolboy concepts, and I genuinely think the boys would have been able to pull this off so well. Please, like, genuinely, please somebody tell me that I'm not the only one who sees it. And that concludes this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and maybe consider subscribing. And I hope to see you all again in the next video. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time.